Good morning and welcome to the Foods Podcast. Today is the 21st of October, year 2020. Today is Wednesday, midweek. Today we're going to be talking about grace and today's topic is grace is available for me again. So grace is available for you again and again and again and again. God is a good God. Grace is a free gift. Not because we deserved it, but because God loves us so much. He freely gave us. And when we talk about grace, and we look at the book of John chapter 1 verse 16 in the Holy Bible, it says, And of his fullness have all we received, and grace for grace. When we look at the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 10 it says but by the grace of God I am what I am and his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain but I labored more abundantly than they all yet not I but the grace of God which was with me so the grace of God is upon you and of his fullness have all we received grace for grace And we know that numbers in Christianity have different meanings. Number five signifies grace. And grace, we generally know to mean divine favor or unmerited favor. What you don't deserve, but God gives you. I'm just going to read different statements, you know, by different authors on this topic grace so J. Gresham Mackin said the very center and core of the whole Bible is the doctrine of the grace of God B.B. Warfield said grace is free sovereign favor to the ill deserving John Stott said, grace is love that cares and stoops and rescues. Jerry Bridges said, grace is God reaching downward to people who are in rebellion against him. The grace is the love of God shown to the unlovely, the peace of God given to the restless, the unmerited favor of God and these are the different statements understandings of people about grace I know the beautiful thing is that the Holy Bible which is the pure Word of God affirms that there are five great mysteries which are namely God the Father God the Son God the Holy Spirit creation and redemption and when we look at the Abrahamic covenant with God Abraham's covenant was with God was sealed with five animals. We find this in Genesis chapter 15 verse 9. Sealed with five animals, you know, signifying grace. And he said unto him, Take me an heifer of three years old, and a she-goat of three years old, and a ram of three years old, and a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. Five animals. David chose five smooth stones when he defeated Goliath, 1 Samuel chapter 17 verse 40. God told Moses to use five elements to make the holy anointing oil used for the consecration of the holy tabernacle. We find this in Exodus chapter 30 verses 22 to 25. So in essence, grace is life to us as Christians and that is what keeps us as God's children. Grace is available only to the living hence why we can say grace is available for me again because grace is not available for the dead it's just for us who are living here on earth which is an awesome thing we live every day as christians by the grace of god first corinthians 15 verse 10 and in titus chapter 2 verse 11 paul helps us to understand that the grace of God brings salvation for all people and it teaches us how to live godly in this present world. 
we receive forgiveness according to the riches of God's grace. So how do you know that grace is available for you again? Number one, because you're alive. The fact that you're alive, that you're well, shows that the grace of God is available for you again. Number two, because you can grow in grace. Second Peter chapter 3, verse 18. You have the capacity, the capability, and the you know, there's that opportunity for you to grow in grace. Number three, because the gospel is all about God's grace through Christ Jesus. Acts chapter 20, verse 24. Gospel of the grace of God. Acts 14, verse 3, the word of his grace. You know, judgment kills, but grace makes alive. The world judges you, but God is gracious to you. How wonderful is that? Fourthly, how do I know that grace is available for you again, for me again? Because God is a God of again and again and again. Grace revealed in Jesus Christ. What does grace mean? People you know, use that acronym and spell it out. You know, they say G-R-A-C means something, which is God's riches at Christ's expense. God's riches at Christ's expense. So through Jesus, we have received grace upon grace. First John chapter one, um, John chapter one, verse 16. Grace upon grace from what we read earlier on. So the last verse of the Bible, Revelation chapter 22, verse 21, summarizes the Bible from Genesis to Revelation. And I'll read that. Revelation chapter 22, verse 21, and it says, The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen. So I've come to just encourage you and brighten up your day and let you know that grace is available for you again and again and again however it is not to be misused don't take it for granted remember that god loves you he will not leave you he will not forsake you stay connected to him stay focused you know on god he alone can make all things beautiful for you have a fantastic day and I'll see you in the next episode of the Foods Podcast. God bless you. Shalom.